The debts of glory must be paid. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be talking about Snakewood by Adrian Selby, which is my first uh, Adrian Selby book that I have tried. And I've had this one for a bit, uh, and it's, I didn't really know a whole lot about it, other than the fact that I know it's supposed to be uh, definitely darker and uh, in like the grim dark type of space. Uh, we've got, yeah, our taglines of a lifetime of enemies has its own price and the debts of glory must be paid. Uh, but So this is, uh, it's a book that is about a group of mercenaries uh, called Kalen's 20. Uh, Kalen was this, this big leader. But um, it, it's not super straightforward, and I, I, I was thinking about it. I feel like I have heard uh, that Adrian Selby has another book that does something that's kind of different like this, but uh, we're, our main story is taking place years after this mercenary group was disbanded, uh, and uh, it's, it's starting up because somebody is going around and has started to kill off uh, people who were part of this mercenary group of Kingless 20, and so some other people are trying to figure out what is actually happening. But... The, the story itself is taking place, it's a collection of like uh, accounts or things that are said they're from journals or letters or that type of thing. Um, and that's, that's kind of the conceit of the structure. And so it's, uh, it's, you're finding out the story that way and it's being uh, put together by somebody who is the, the son of one of these uh, people and um, as you're reading through. And so it's, it's kind of interesting uh, with that, but also that that's where I, I had pretty mixed feelings about this as a whole, and that was kind of one of the first things that I was a little bit iffy on, because I think it's an interesting uh, way to do it, to approach, to, to look at that, but my issue is I feel like if you're going to go that route, you have to fully commit to it, uh, whereas here, the accounts that are being given, when it said, like, I had this account from them, that's fine, that is somebody who's going to be kind of narrating, but then um, even even the journals to an extent I could see somewhat, but all of it is regardless of what it is, it's it's always somebody who's narrating, and like there are some that uh, passages here that are said to be letters, but it's somebody narrating, and it's even more so than narrating. Like there's full bits of dialogue and stuff like this. And I'm just like it's not really how people write letters or journals or that kind of thing. Like you don't specifically write down what everybody said. There are a couple of times where. Somebody like like in the text will say, I tried to get this this part down exactly as they said it. So there were a couple times where it, it kind of feels like, okay, that's fair. That was kind of a short and very important bit. But I mean, it's just like that, I, I felt like that's not really super realistic. So whenever we'd say that, and I know that's a nitpick, but that did pull me out a little bit of it um, as well. But the other part with it is the narrative is specifically structured to hide certain things from you, which I also don't think really makes sense in the the style of this is accounts and everything and this is being put together by somebody to tell you this story i mean it's not phrased like they're trying to put it together to like make it a really interesting story it's like here here are these accounts these are these details i'm trying to put them in order uh so you can understand but very specifically it is crafted to uh have certain things not be known to you like who certain people are including characters that we're following and we have passages that are from their POV uh who 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 some of them are or what happened or other things like that and so I, I feel like once again if you want to write this story that way absolutely write the story that way because this could be written as just you know multi-POV and kind of normal but um it, it's specifically done to try to be a little bit different than that and I don't know that that fully landed for me uh, just because it, a lot of times it says that this is an account or this is a letter and it, it doesn't feel like it really is. So that's kind of that. As well as the, the things that were supposed to be like big twists, I found really obvious for the most part. Um, there was, uh, at least one kind of, one, one detail that I think was cleverly done that you just assume you know exactly what's happening with something and it's, it's a little bit different in an interesting way, but as far as a couple of the things that I think were supposed to be these big twists, I uh, I generally assumed virtually the entire book, uh, even before I had enough detail. Like, there's some things that happened really early on, and I'm like, yeah, that's this is definitely going to be this. So for me, th th that didn't pay off super well either, so it was kind of a combo of the things you were trying to hide from me, I don't think were super important to try to hide from me because I feel like they were pretty obvious anyway and also that breaks the, the narrative structure a little bit. So, 
kind of there um, with it. So I, I feel like I've done I've done probably a lot of complaining. And like I said, I was mixed here. This was so I mean like this was three stars. This wasn't bad by any means. I think it was. Uh, there, there were some things that were maybe a little bit of a struggle. I think this might have been his first book too, which may be why I'm trying to remember now. I don't, I don't know for sure. This might have been his first, um, which if so, kind of makes sense that he was trying to do something unique and just maybe wasn't as used to it yet. And I could be wrong there. I don't, I, I don't. So don't quote me on that. Um, but I think overall there are definitely some positive things here. And as far as like the feel of this, because this definitely is darker. Um, with, there are, there's one particular POV that tends to be a lot darker, uh, than the others, but the, the thing with it too, uh, which is interesting, and I know for the people who like this sort of thing, is there aren't really characters to root for. Like, these are all bad people. Um, and most of them aren't even really shades of gray. Most of them are just terrible people and they're mercenaries. Uh, and yeah, and that's kind of the thing. But there is like, you, you start to see more and more, and like, there are some people who, Maybe you're, you're kind of like here, but then you'll find out more about them. And so it's kind of that feeling, uh, which I, I think definitely plays into the uh, the Grimdark kind of feel. And overall, the book feels sort of like a mismatch of uh, the Black Company, plus some like uh, Abercrombie type of feel, I think, with some of the mercenaries when we were seeing them together and, and how they act with each other. Although I would say it goes darker uh, than either of, of those, because this does this does go in, a, in some darker ways with some of the content as well, and some of the things that are described, and just the the world in general. Because the world here is set up uh, where one of the, the big conceits and the things that's unique here is the fact that uh, you have these all these different brews, which are made from these different plants, and they give people these sorts of uh, powers, basically, that it can make them stronger and faster, but they usually have a really big cost. And so that's something I do like, is when you have the uh, the magic have a, a cost like that, um, and that's a really big part of it. So you have people who are, are drudhas, uh, who are, that's what they specialize in, is they specialize in making these things. But there's a, there's a lot that goes into these and what they can do to you and uh, what what's ethical for testing and finding things out and that sort of thing. So there's there's a lot of things uh, in there that are interesting about the world that I think uh, as well uh, with some of these characters and it's it does uh, give you give you something interesting to follow. So I found that to be an interesting way to do it. Uh, it does bring me around to one of my other minor nitpicks here, which is. There's a lot of uh, terms, words here that are very clearly slang terms that are supposed to be like in-world slang, but they're like super close to just what the actual in-our-world word is. And that's always something that's just a, a pet peeve of mine in books. Either use something totally different or just use the actual word when you're trying to like make it seem like it's different. Because this also does that. This uses terms without a lot of explanation. You just sort of figure out through the narrative. Um, it uses terms like that that are specific. So I'm just like, why not just do that in general? So that that's a super minor nitpick. But um, but you see, so you, you do get to see that as well. And the 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 black company part, I think, because you know the black company are a group of mercenaries, and uh, within within the, the books that I read of those too, they can sometimes be it, it's varying on the perspective and the type of narrative, as well as things not always happening like in order, which is kind of here because. We sometimes are, are getting a passage that tells about a past event. Sometimes we're seeing something current. Uh, and it's, it's so it's not always really in order. Uh, and so that kind of feel, that's that's what I got from this. And so I overall, I thought this was solid. Um, this wasn't bad. It wasn't like anything that I was going to DNF. I just was, I was interested enough to continue and to read this. But uh, I overall wasn't super, super big on it either. Uh, I think it, it was an interesting kind of just um, study in, having this world and having these types of characters and uh going with it so this is like i i would uh, i would definitely try more selby uh and see uh what his other stuff is like too uh and uh kind of do that i i know he sometimes does the things so maybe they get a little bit i feel like i can't i don't know what it is but i feel like i heard he has a book where like the whole thing is newspaper articles or something like that so i i, I think he's stuck with doing the interesting things so i don't know if it would work for me or not but it'd be interesting to see but um, this one was, like I said, it was solid. It was interesting seeing these different characters and um, seeing what they really think, finding out about them. And normally you're kind of supposed to root for, you know, one group or the other. And there are times where it might seem like, oh, this is definitely the person who I feel like I'm supporting. Uh, but it, it's at the same time, they're all pretty terrible people. 
uh, and we are different like groups uh, as well. And so it's that's just kind of the the world basically is is a, is pretty pretty bleak here and violent and dangerous and that kind of thing. So it's it's definitely it's it's I think if you're you're into you know the grimdark kind of thing. Um, if you're into, uh, like I said, if you, if you like Black Company, I think this is worth checking out, uh, for sure. It's a bit darker, like I said. Um, and it doesn't really feel like, uh, Abercrombie in, uh, tone or style, but just some of, like, the interactions, uh, with the, the named men is more so what I'm thinking about. Um, and the kind of things that they did and essentially that sort of thing is, is, I think, where it reminded me a bit of there. But it's, it, it's, it's more closer in style and tone to, to the Black Company, but, um, just kind of di a, a bit different in, in style as well, of course, with, with what's going on in this one. But overall, really, those are my thoughts on Snakewood. Let me know if you've read this, if you agree, disagree uh, on this one, too. Um, like I said, I, I know some people, I, I, I remember hearing about this a while back, and I've had it for a while and just hadn't gotten to it, so I don't specifically know what anybody else thinks of it. So definitely let me know uh, if you've read this and, you know, what your thoughts are and if you, you took things really differently or... Uh, maybe the same for some things, mix of the two, you know, always interested to hear from me. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, otherwise that's it for this one. Make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description as always for the Wizardly Enclave Discord. If you want to chat books, whether this book, other books, any books, really anything at all. It's a lot of fun and we'd love to have you. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.